Hi guys, this is Malverse from Malverse Animations and I'm going to teach you today how to transfer the animations of one of my models into another model using 3ds Max and Unity. This time we're going to use my Polyart Tiger with the Asian Animal Tiger from Formtoon Studios. What I'm gonna do is to use my model's bones with this high poly tiger. That way we can use the animation and controller that comes with Polyar Tiger with this high poly tiger. Firstly we need to find each model on each package. For example, my Polyar model is under Malverse Animation, Animal Packs, Forest Packs, Tiger and Models. Drag the model to Max and import it. Select any of the bones and press page up in the keyboard to get to the root bone, which the name is CG and then reset the position on the Y and X axis to zero. Then we go back to Unity and search for the Asian Tiger model. There's two files on the folders, we can pick any of those. Drag it to Max and import it. Once we have both models in Max, we need to remove the Asian Tiger bones. With a double click on the root one, we can remove them. Let's hide the Polyar Tiger. The Asian Tiger comes with a lot of LODs, I'm going to use just one for the skinning and for this demonstration. Now let's set the Tiger to the right position. Let's zero out the X axis and unhide the Polyar Tiger to match positions. Now that we try to put the Tiger in the right position, Let's scale the tiger to make it as close as possible to the polyar tiger. In this case, the Asian tiger is not a symmetrical model, so we need to make it symmetrical. Find the symmetry modifier and apply it to the mesh. Then collapse all the modifiers to one editable poly. When you collapse it, you will lose the smoothing groups. So we need to fix that, select all the faces and then apply just one smoothing group and we will get back the normals. Now we just need to reset the scale and the pivot of the mesh. We go to edit, transfer toolbox and reset the egg form. And set the pivot to the origin. Now we need to select all the bones but first we need to hide both meshes by pressing shift G and now we have all the bones now we need to save this pose let's create some keys and then we're going to reposition these keys way back in the time frame now we press again shift G to show all geometry and then we hide only the polyar tiger we need to match the bones with the new mesh but we need to keep the original pose that is stored in the frame 100. Please remember to enable the animation mode when you are making the new pose for the character, so you won't lose the original pose. Now let's activate the X-ray mode on the mesh and freeze the mesh. When making the new pose, you can move the first bone of any chain, but please rotate the child bone using the local reference system instead of moving them and if you need to make a bone bigger set the reference coordinate system to parent and move the bone by the forward axis in this case it's X keep rotating and moving the bones until you have the desired pose once we finish with the tail you will need to start with other parts of the body in the case of the back and front legs, you will need to keep it as symmetrical as possible. This will ease the skinning process a lot. Remember, you can move the first bone of the chain in any directions. And if you move, for example, a leg 4 units to the right, you will need to move the opposite leg 4 units to the left. But the child bones, you will only move it in the forward axis. Repeat all that process to the spines and the front legs, to the hands, even the jaw, the eyes and the ears.
for rotating opposite bones were the same. If you rotate one ear 10 degrees on an axis, you will need to rotate the other ear the same amount to his mirror direction. Now that I have a desired pose that matches my new tiger, it's time to check one last time if every bone is in the right place. If the position values of one side match the negative values of the other side. And if everything is good, we can move to the next phase, skinning. For better skinning, you can always create more loop in your mesh. And then we add the skin modifier. And before we continue, we need to check for two things. We need to set the bone limit to 4, because Unity only allowed up to 4 bones in the skin mesh component. And after we add all the bones except the CG, center of gravity, we need to check if the mirror is working right. To verify that, the blue bones need to match the green ones. And of course, you can adjust the mirror threshold to your needs. Okay, so I'm going to start fixing now the envelopes here and there to have a decent base for the skinning, paint and skin weight. I will not cover some advanced technique of skinning in this tutorial because it will take me about an hour to make a skinning right. For this video you will need to have some knowledge of skinning in any 3D software, Maya, Blender, Max or Cinema. I'm just gonna show you some important stuff once in a while to make the skinning work right, but the rest of the skinning process I will speed it up to make this video not that long. Now that we finish one side we need to mirror it to the other side. In this case we finish the blue side so we need to copy the blue bones to the green ones. And I think that's it. We finish the base skinning. Now we need to paint the skin weights. Let's enable show no envelopes and let's enable also vertices. So we can select all vertices and bake the base skinning made with the envelopes so we can start painting the skin weights as you can see here I enable the animation mode again to make some posts to see how the bones to see how the skin behave I was working on the painting to the tail removing some vertices here and there For example, the tail was very close to the legs, so I was having some issues to to make the skinning, but all were fine. Here it's just adjust, adjusting some some bones, some vertices of the leg. Remember always to keep the original and the new pose of the tiger of the or your mesh. Mm -hmm. Working on the spine. Everything is working fine. Adding some more weights here and there. Working on the front legs. This process took about um, half an hour. Here I was adding the, the clavicle. Working on the, on the ring. As always, I'm working just in one side of the mesh. Because thanks to the mirror mode, we just need to, to make one side. Here, adjusting the, the job on, making some weights. Okay. Now, in the case of the eyes, what I do for the bling is to scale the bone in the Y axis. So, make a pose closing the eye and you will get the blink. Then, after we check all that, we make the mirror. We double check again. And I think that was all of it. 
And lastly, we can do the final steps to export to Unity and make some magic. Now that the skinning is done, we can check that we have both poses, the one from our new tiger and the old one from the polydark tiger. Let's move the old pose to frame 10 and hide all geometry. Remove the polyar tiger mesh as we don't need it anymore. And export it to the desktop as an FBX file. Let's call it Tiger New Bones. Make sure the animation option is enabled and hit OK. We're almost done, guys. We just need to drag the FBX file to the Unity project. Check it's generic. We need to set the CG bone as root node. We apply. We change the animation compression to none. We clamp the range. Let's rename this clip as Tiger Fixed Pose. We know that the original pose is in frame 10, so we hit additive preference in frame 10. Then we make the clip from 0 to 0 0.1. We set based upon original in rotation, original in y position, we leave root node position in x and z. Now open the tiger scene. Okay, let's use the white tiger. Let's remove all the other tigers so we can have a better look. Now let's drag the new tiger. Let's put it right next to the white tiger. Let's make it a child of the white tiger. Let's reset the position and rotation. Remove this animator component. Search for the CG bone from the new tiger and set Z to zero. Now let's hide the polyar tiger bones and mesh. Now let's change in the animator component the avatar for the new avatar. And if we hit play, we can see the tiger is almost working. We just need to correct the pose. For now, let's give it a material. Let's search for the camera and set the target to the white tiger. As you can see, the tiger is almost done. We can jump, we can walk, we can run, we can turn. Let's fix the pose. Select the animator, select the type layer, let's create a new state, let's call it fixed pose, let's make a transition, as you can see we have type equals 5, so we need to make it type equals 6, we need to set the weight of the layer type up to 1, and we need to put in the fixed pose state the new clip that we made before Tiger Fix Pose Lastly we set Animal Type ID to 6 because it's the same we put in the Fix Pose transition and uncheck Can Transition to Self in the transition we made If we hit play we can see that the eyes are a bit off There is an easy way to fix that we just need to go to the clip and search for the mask and uncheck both eyes. Now let's hit play again. As you can see everything is working right. But the jawbone is open and the tail is really close to the body. Now we need to jump back to Max to fix that. Now in max, we only need to do is in the po in the frame zero, we need to adjust the jaw on, close the mouth, and separate by rotating the tail from the body. And that's it, guys. We just need to export it again. But when we export it, we need to we need to do it right into the project, so we can overwrite the file we have. Let's search for the location, copy the path, and in Max we paste it and save the FBA files. We overwrite it and hit OK. And when we hit play in Unity, 
we have the mouth closed and the tail separated from the body and that's it I mean we are almost done the last thing we need to do is to copy all the colliders from the old set of bones from the polytiger to the new bones of the new tiger just search for spine one search for head bone and for the hand bones then copy the component from those bones and paste it into the bones of the new tiger copy all the components the colliders and the make damage script <laughs> Now we can remove the old bones and the polyar mesh. Let's reorder some bones. We don't need the tiger new bones game object. We can remove it. Let's change the name. Let's call it tiger white high. Let's make it a prefab. And let's hit play again. As you can see we have some crazy behaviors. That's because all the new game objects we added to the tiger has the layer default. We need to change all game objects to layer animal. So we select the root, select layer animal again, hit yes, change children. And now we are done. We have the new tiger working as the polyar tiger with the new animations. Everything is working fine. We can do everything we we could with the polyar tiger but with the high new mesh. And finally we are done. But this time for real. <laughs> so that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully you understood me. I'm not used to speak English this long. I'm Cuban by the way. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Nos vemos en otro video. <laughs>